This website, this website, and this website were all built without writing a single line of code. But what if I told you that you could build your own $10,000 websites in just 30 minutes? And to prove it to you, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can use these three no-code and AI tools to launch your own websites from scratch. But first of all, what's a $10,000 website? What does that actually mean? Well, to answer that question, I've decided to simply ask AI. So I'm gonna go to Claude and we're gonna ask it what it thinks is included in a $10,000 website. So I'm gonna jump in here and just ask, what features would you include if I'm building a $10,000 website for a client? So it's telling me to focus on essential business driving features rather than fancy extras. It talks about performance and security. It talks about CMS and mobile responsiveness, meaning that it'll look good on a phone as well as a tablet, as well as a browser. It's also made a much more comprehensive list that I'll be going through throughout this video. And I'm definitely gonna wanna include some beautiful design, potentially some animations so that this can really pop. So we have a pretty good idea of what kind of features we'll have to build, but what kind of website are we actually gonna be building? Okay, so for this challenge, I've decided I'm gonna be building a basketball manufacturing company. We're going to call it Hoops. And the two main goals of this website are going to be to elevate the brand, but also to get retailers to contact us to order large quantities of basketballs. But now before we jump in, I want to get a little bit of inspiration from websites so I can determine what the color palette is, what the overall kind of aesthetic is going to look like. And then we're going to jump into the build. So I'm going to jump in and find some inspiration for my website. So here I've come to Webflow because it's one of the website builders I really like. And I'm going to go and check out some of the templates. I found something that I find pretty cool. First of all, I like dark mode. So I think I'm going to go for something like this uh, with a kind of like a pink and then maybe like a blue as well. And so yeah, my website will not look like this, but this can be pretty inspiring for design purposes. Now that we found some inspiration, let's jump in and start building. Now the main tool we're gonna use to build this whole website out is called Bolt. And the way I'm gonna start building this out is simply by having a very simple landing page. And then I'm gonna build out additional pages on top of that. So I'm gonna start off with a simple prompt. So here I'm simply gonna put, please build a simple landing page for a basketball manufacturing company, keep the design very basic. And then what I can do here is enhance this with AI. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and click go. Okay, so the first thing it runs into is a problem. No problem, let's fix this problem. Okay, so I don't see anything in the preview, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that. Okay, so I see a first version of what this looks like. It's not what I'm looking for. Uh, definitely not the color palette we were talking about. I see there's some bugs too, but hey, it's a start. So this is the next thing I'm gonna do. I'm basically going to figure out what are the different things I wanna have inside of this. So first let's talk about what we actually wanna have in this homepage. Now, I think that the hero is pretty cool. Could you add a section below the hero about the technology of the ball. Now it's added that, but I do see that there is this extra little thing here. So I'm not super happy with that. Please took away this innovation in every detail overlay. So now it's taken that away and we can see that underneath it's also added a really beautiful picture of a guy dunking. The next step here is gonna be to add additional sections here for the homepage. And then we're basically going to adapt it to the color palette and the kind of styling of the website that I showed you earlier. Please take the section out. And notice that I'm only prompting it step by step. I don't want it to do too many things at the same time. And now we see that it's taken that section out. Next step, I'm gonna be working a little bit on this, perfect this landing page first with a couple additional prompts. And then I'll show you what I've done for the landing page in just a second, and we'll be able to move on to the next step. So now we've created the structure and it's time to make this website more beautiful. And we're gonna keep the exciting stuff like animations for the end of this video, but it's time to turn this landing page into a more beautiful website because we're gonna need so it. So I've done a first version here of the layout and we basically just have the hero section then we go into the ball technology section. Then we're gonna hop into kind of a bit of the history over here. Then we're gonna jump into the actual showcasing a couple of the ball technologies or the uh, collection, let's call it. And then finally, we have a call to action. So this homepage is pretty much the, the structure of it is done, but now I wanna start adapting a little bit to the uh, style that I want. Could you make all the sections in dark mode like the technology section. Let's see what it looks like. Advanced ball technology. Okay, cool. This is already looking a little bit cleaner. And now I don't really like this orange, to be honest. I think I'm gonna go for the color uh, that we had in the other one, which is kind of a purple pink. Actually, what I like doing for this is I can just do a screenshot of this. I can go to a place like um, image to hex color. I'm just gonna grab this color over here. I did that by just coming here, uploading that little image, grab this hex code over here. And then I'm gonna go inside a bolt and tell it, make the buttons this color. Okay, and now it's actually changed that. You can even see that it's changed the logo here. It's also changed these images. So 
So I'm starting to like this a little bit more. Also use it for the logo in the footer. And now we go to the footer and boom, it has been updated. Now this next design trick, I think you're gonna love it. So you see how this nav looks pretty good. I actually want it to be a bit more transparent. I want it to have a more modern look. And if I come here, I can see a pretty good example of how that's done here. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and screenshot this. I'm gonna upload it here and just say, I would like my nav bar to look like this image. Now it's kind of made a gradient here, as you can see, but it hasn't made it circular and floating. So let me see if I can actually adapt that. And I don't actually know how to describe this. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna be going to Claude. I'm gonna upload the image of the actual nav. Describe this navigation bar as if you were a designer. So it seems like it's called floating navigation. So I'm going to basically reference floating navigation and I'm going to tell it that I want this uh, a rounded container. Could you make a navigation, a floating navigation, and then with uh, within a rounded container, uh, don't change the rest. Let's see what it comes up with. And we will find some limitations to this method, but I have found that you can actually do pretty impressive stuff here. This is looking stylish. I'm really liking this. I'm actually gonna ask it if it can have completely rounded edges, even more rounded and make the outline slightly thicker. I'm trying to get this first page to look kind of the way I want it to, because when I create these additional pages, it'll just respect the similar design elements. And uh, hopefully we won't have to change too, too much from there. Could you make the floating nav more transparent boom that looks pretty clean doesn't it when you like kind of scroll over you can see that transparent background that just looks very classy to me but there are still some changes that i want to apply and let's start with this advanced ball technology section i want this to look so clean i want to have a little background as well so i'm going to ask for it to uh, be described to me this specific grid by again grabbing a screenshot of this, bringing it into Claude and uploading it and asking for it to describe that to me. For the technology section, could you please give the background a sophisticated grid and have a deep purple blur behind the cards. Boom, just looks so beautiful. And now what I'm gonna do here is that I'm gonna ask for it to do something kind of similar, but maybe in blue for the section below it. I like the fact that we're kind of similar to this color. So let me go ahead and find out which color that is. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add it. It looks a little different than that, obviously, but it still looks quite good. Now for this next section, it seems like it's quite classy, but what I'd like to do is add an extra little touch here. So let me go ahead and see what I can use. Um, maybe find another kind of element that I find pretty from this specific design. So I'm gonna say something like, okay, for the section called a legacy of Excellence, could you please add a blue blur? Use a similar tone of blue as found in the image. Okay, this is starting to come together. I'm liking it. However, let's change the logo. I like the logo to look a little more tech forward and be hoops. Let's see what it gives us. I didn't want it to be like that, but I think this is really good. It's like, hey, we're a ball making company. We got the most advanced tech for this. I love what I did here with the uh, background. So I'm gonna tell it to apply the same background for the professional series. And I'm now starting to see some inconsistencies, uh, but we're gonna polish those off in just a little second. And I'm taking a good amount of time here on the design because I believe that a $10,000 website is really something that looks beautiful. So let's go ahead and focus on that for just a little bit. I'm taking a good amount of time doing this, but I know it's gonna be worth it. So here I'm asking it to have the same shape of, I wanted to make all the buttons now circular because it seems like that's kind of the style I'm going for. So I'm, I'm not actually making these fancy buttons, but I'm gonna start finishing off at least the initial design. Then we're going to uh, move on to the next step. So let's do this. So now this is what we were looking for. All the buttons now are circular. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna determine the pages that I actually want to have now. Please, for the nav, add these sections. Blog products about us and take out the cart. We're not actually gonna make this an e-commerce website. We're actually gonna take out the shopping element of it. It seems like it took away the cart, but it didn't uh, change anything else. Okay, could you add in the nav a section? called 
products. Now we got them right here, products, about us, and blog. I think that's pretty much all I'm gonna keep for the nav. I want it to stay relatively simple here. And the next step for us is going to be to actually create pages behind each one of these additional ones. And then we can come in and start perfecting. Please create pages behind each navigation section using the same design as the home. Ooh, mamma mia, look at this. Looks great. So about us, our story. So there's not really much of a story here, but then there's the years of experience, all of that. Our leadership team you can adapt any one of these things, by the way, for sure. And then the blog itself is going to be a collection of blog posts perfect with that beautiful design behind it as well it's starting to really all come together i'm super stoked quick reality check now we've created the home page we've created a little bit of design around that we've also been able to create additional pages but one of the next important things is going to be to create a cms which is a content management system and we're actually going to implement that for the blog meaning that someone would be able to just log in, create a new blog post, and that it would automatically update on the website. So we're gonna create a simple version of this, and then we're gonna have an admin panel to be able to control that. And I have a beautiful cherry on top that's prepared for the end of this video, so make sure to stick around. By the way, if you have an app idea and you'd like to work with our team, we've just opened up a couple of spots for our one-on-one -on -one coaching program that helps you not only identify exactly what you should build as a first step, but then build it out leveraging no-code and AI tools, and we'll guide you on how to get first paying customers for it too. We've now trained more than 600 entrepreneurs Founders like Heidi, who came to us with some great domain knowledge, but didn't unfortunately have any technical skills and didn't know how to get started. In just eight weeks, she was able to build her first app and get $25,000 a month in recurring revenue. And now she's raised more than $3 million from investor for her company, Aware Health, and is generating over a million dollars a year. So don't leave it up to luck. There is some method to this madness. And if you'd like to work with us, you can apply below. Now let's get back to this video. So for the CMS, let's go over the blog section. Click on blog over here. You see that there are already articles here. And if I click on each one of these articles, it should lead me to the actual page where the articles are written. In this case, I don't have that yet, so that's the next thing I'm gonna do. Please create a CMS with dynamic routing for the blog page. Now, what dynamic routing means is that if you click on this specific article, it's gonna bring you to that specific article page. And for each one of these articles, I'm gonna want it to bring it to a different page. And that's what dynamic routing really is. So it's cooking here, it's creating, it's updating the pages. Okay, so it seems like we've run into a problem here. Now, one thing I do wanna mention about running into problems is that if you do have a problem, you can always go to the last version of your product. I can always roll back to this checkpoint and this is super valuable in case something breaks in your project. But let's go ahead and try to just fix this problem. So let's see what that looks like here. I'm gonna go to the blog. I'm gonna go ahead and learn more about one of these blogs. It's gonna pop up. So here we're gonna have the name of the person who's written this and their position. We're gonna have the full blog post. It seems like it's just created a very simple one uh, with some dummy data. Also, I can ask for there to be an uh, image behind this if I want to. Uh, in this case, I think it looks kind of clean like that. So I might just ask it to have a little less space um, on the top here. So this really seems perfect for what I'm looking for. And I think that um, it even added that beautiful little gradient in the background. So I think I'm good here, but I'm now gonna ask it for to create an admin section where I can just add these articles. So I'm gonna ask it, could you add an admin section where I can add blog posts. Now let's check this out. Okay, cool. So we can add a title here, a category if we want, an image URL, an author name. And here I can pretty much fill everything out. And I can also come here and I can delete any one that I want. And that was just with one prompt. It was able to create all of that. So we finished that CMS and now the value of our website has dramatically gone up. However, we need to reach $10,000 in value. And one of the best ways to do that is through animation. And I'm gonna start off with classy scroll animations and then we're gonna go on to the cherry on top. This might be my favorite part of it. It's the animations because it makes things look so beautiful. And I kept this for one of the last parts just because it's exciting to me. Can you create a beautiful loading screen with a technology background, which is the technology section and pretty animation with the same pink uh, purple as the button. So let's see what it comes up with. Let's go ahead and make that loading screen one second longer because it was so quick that I wasn't even able to do it. Okay, I kind of like that. So now let's have some clean and basic animation on this uh, on this homepage as well. And I'm not gonna waste too much of your time here, but what I'm gonna do is ask for a bunch of smaller uh, animations and I'll show you the result in just a minute. So I finished the animations. I'm pretty happy with them. Let's check it out. Basically, I'm gonna just reload. As you can see here, I have a loading screen. So this basically allows the website to load. And then we have them come in with a simple animation, which is kind of fun. As you scroll down on this, you're gonna see the 
cards appear with a light animation. So this is to keep it really classy. And then I have a different animation. I also made this actually, um, as you can see, it's, uh, it's glowing, actively glowing here, which is uh, another animation. Here we have another section that appears with a light animation and this call to action, I wanna call attention to it. So I'm making it uh, with a nice little glow as well. I chose to keep the other sections relatively simple as well. So the about section is basically um, pretty simple. Uh, not too much animation here, but here in the journey, I have the journey appear with some animation as well. I really like this one. Then the uh, product section, very simple as well. Uh, we basically have more details about the products that we already feature on the homepage. And if people click on the buy now uh, or contact us, it's going to lead them to a place where they can find our details. Let's see what that looks like. Also very simple, clean, nice design. If you click on them, you're going to see that it creates an outline. So all really just trying to look classy. And then if we click on the blog, this is a blog that we've created. Looks like the images are taking a little bit of time to load. But nevertheless, uh, I also have little animations here where if you hover over one, uh, it will basically light up uh, a little bit. If you click on one of these, you're going to have a nice design on this too. And so as you can see, very simple, not too many animations, but this is really the next step. Okay, it looks beautiful. And now we are basically 90% there, but I have a very special last little touch to make this thing just pop and once we've implemented that we're going to be able to attach it to a domain connect it and deploy it and the name of my secret weapons my friends is 3d animation so for this we're going to be using an amazing tool that allows us to either create these 3d animations from scratch or to use pre-existing ones and incorporate them to our projects to make them look like a million bucks let's check it out this my friends is spline and i'm going to use a 3d design that's already been created to add it to this website and to do that i'm going to go to the community tab up here I'm gonna go ahead and search. We're gonna put basketball. Ooh, look at that little animation. Where should we put this? I think we can actually put this as the background image of my hero section. So now let's go ahead and integrate that. If I come here, uh, what you wanna do, and there is a paid plan here. Um, you wanna go here and remix. So I'm basically gonna click on remix and grab that. And here I will literally not touch anything. This has already been created. Um, and again, there are lots that you can find in the community and also that they've created themselves. And I can choose to adapt anything about this ball, about the animation itself. I can also press play to see how it actually works. As you can see here, it just bounces around. Man, this looks amazing. I can adapt the way that it bounces too. Um, but if I, I'm ready to export it, I can go ahead and click on export. Then I can just grab this link here and I can go to Bolt and be like, please make this spline animation the background of my home hero and if this works this will be the cherry on top i think that these animations can just be so powerful oh my god it actually worked i think there's a blur here in front of it please take out the blur we've done it my friends let's go oh my god look at how beautiful that looks this is what a $10,000 website looks like and feels like. And now there's nothing else to do but to actually deploy this. And to do that, you can simply come to the top right and just click on deploy. And we're gonna be able to see it uh, live on a public URL. Welcome to Hoops Technology, my friends. Most cutting edge technology you have ever seen for basketball. So let's just scroll down here and see this public URL. I'll put it in the link below so you can check it out as well on your own time. I think this will probably require a couple of performance uh, improvements here. We see the animations work and that's it my friends. We got it. If you want to contact us to order basketballs that don't exist, just come right here. You can get in touch with us. And so just like that, my friend, you've built a beautiful website. Building an amazing website is absolutely incredible, but building an actual online business that generates revenue with a website is even better. And that's why I highly recommend you check out this video where for two hours and 19 minutes, I break down every single thing that you need to know to go from idea to first million dollars in revenue for a software business, meaning a website business or an app business. It is literally the most comprehensive video out there. If you're enjoying my content, please subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Let's go.